right, so I'm here. I'm back. I made a wiring video, a subwoofer wiring video, quite a few years ago. Um, surprisingly, I still have a lot of questions. So I wanted to make a new video, kind of slow it down a little bit, and maybe go into a little bit more detail and try to answer some of those questions. So first I want to do parallel wiring on one subwoofer. So I have the multimeter hooked up to one of the coils. These are dual two subwoofers. So that means each coil is two ohms. That's the manufacturer's specification for it. So I have it hooked up to the coil. You can see when I have it on ohms, it actually reads one to 1.1 1 .1 ohms. Um, and that's pretty common. Even though they're rated at a dual two, uh, manufacturers don't always have the windings read exactly what they're rated at. So now I'm going to get into the wiring of the speaker. So for parallel wiring, basically all you're doing is taking the positive and the positive and wiring it together, and the negative and the negative and wiring it together. So this is a 2 ohm, this is 2 ohm, and you're going to bring those together, the positives and the negatives. So then this is going to be at 1 ohm. So I'll show you how to do that. You can see what I did. I took a positive and a positive and hooked it up to the positive on the coil and the positive on the other coil. So that's what I do for starters. Next, take your two negatives and do the same thing. Put the negative up to the negative on this side, negative up to the negative on the other coil. Now that I have both the negatives, and both the positives hooked up. The next step is to join the positives together and the negatives together. So this connection then would go into your amp. This connection would go into your amp. So now you can see the negatives are hooked up to the negatives on the coil. The positives are hooked up to the positives on each coil. The positives go to the positive terminal on the amp. The negatives go to the negative terminal on the amp. I have the multimeter hooked up showing that these two coils are in parallel right now. Remember each coil was reading 1 ohm. So now when they're parallel, they're reading 0.5. Alright, so that was single subwoofer parallel wiring. Positives together, negatives together positives to the positive on the amp, negatives to the negative on the amp. So that is going to take a dual 1 subwoofer and make it 0.5 ohms. It will take a dual 2 subwoofer and make it 1 ohm. It will take a dual 4 subwoofer and make it 2 ohms. Dual 8 would be 4 and so on. I don't really think there's many dual 8s or dual 16s or anything crazy like that, so we don't got to go there. Alright, so as I'm taking this apart now, a couple other things uh, that have come up before. People ask, can I just run one coil? Sure, if you want. I don't know why you would do it, but it'll work. The subwoofer will physically work if you run one coil. Um, but you're basically cutting your power handling in half then because you're only running one coil so I wouldn't really recommend doing that it will work but just don't do it don't do it another thing that people ask a lot is I have a dual 2 subwoofer how do I run it on my amp at 2 ohms well, unless you are hooking up one coil, which I wouldn't recommend, you can't. So that's where it's beneficial to do a little bit of research ahead of time before you buy the stuff to make sure you have the right combination for your amp and your subwoofer. So dual 2 parallel is 1 ohm. Dual 4 parallel is 2 ohm. So if I wanted to take a dual 2 and go up to 4 ohms, or I wanted to raise the impedance or double it, you do series wiring, which I'll get into next. So, series wiring for a single subwoofer, this is how I normally do it for each sub, even when wiring multiples. 
Uh, I use a little jumper like this. It's just a short piece that's going to go around from coil to coil. You put it on the positive on one coil and the negative on the opposite coil. Okay, so now that I got my jumper hooked up here, <clears throat> positive on one coil to the negative on the other coil, you have a positive terminal and a negative terminal that are still open. So get yourself a positive wire, a negative wire, hook them up here, and then these will go straight to your amp. Just like this. Positive hooked up to the last positive, negative hooked up. Now these are ready to go right into your amp. Okay, so this subwoofer is now wired in series. There's a single dual 2 ohm subwoofer. The actual coil reading is 1 ohm, as we measured before. So this is done by this jumper. The positive on one coil to the negative on the other coil. Positive and negative. The open terminals. And then these come out and they go to your amp. Alright, so now I'll take all our multimeter leads. Put them on just to verify where it's at. Remember our original coil reading was about 1 ohm. It was flickering between 1 and 1.1. So it should end up being around 2 or 2.2 ohms. So this is a single dual coil subwoofer wired in series. And you're taking the coil readings and you're basically just adding them together. Dual 1, 1, 1, and 2. Dual 4 would be 8. Dual 8, you're never going to buy anyways, so... There you go. Alright, so that was how you take a single dual coil woofer, wired in parallel, or wired in series. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and stay tuned. I'm going to probably make a multiple part video where I do uh, dual woofers, wired in series, parallel, or series parallel. There's a third different kind, so uh, stay tuned for that.